Today we will be going over a compound interest problem. The compound interest formula is A equals P times the quantity 1 plus R over N raised to the N times T power. The P represents the principal, the A represents the amount, the R represents the interest rate as a decimal, the N represents the number of times interest is compounded per year, and the T represents the amount of time in years. The problem we will be solving is $27,000 invested at a rate of 3.75% compounded quarterly, three years. Using the compound interest formula, substitute each of the numbers in the problem into each variable in the compound interest formula. In order to use the interest rate for the equation, you must change the 3.75% to a decimal. In order to do this, move the decimal point to, to the left two places, making this 3.75% as a decimal, 0 0.0375. The N is 4 because the interest is compounded quarterly and the T is 3. Once you substitute the number into the formula, the equation will be A equals 27,000 times the quantity 1 plus 0 0.0375 over 4 raised to 3 times 4 power. Break down the equation by simplifying it. First divide 0 0.0375 by 4, which will give you 0 0.009375. Then, to simplify everything in the parentheses, add 1 plus 0 0.009375, which is 1.009375. The equation will now be simplified to 27,000 times the quantity 1.009375 raised to the 4 times 3 power. Now we need to solve 4 times 3 to find the exponent. 4 times 3 is 12, so the equation will now be 27,000 times 1.009375 raised to the 12th power. Now you need to simplify 1.009375 raised to the 12th power, which should be 1.11848537. The equation is now 27,000 times 1.11848537. Once you solve that, the final answer is um, $30,199.12. We rounded this answer to the hundredth since we are t talking about money. Now try a problem on your own. Find the compound interest of 18000 invested at a rate of 4.8% compounded quarterly over five years.